So let me tell you about what's going to be happening in science for the next eight weeks of school. Now, assuming that we do not go back to Mountain View in the next eight weeks, this is what's going to happen. First, there's this week right here that we're in, April 6th through 9th, because apparently we still have off on Friday. What that means for you, I have no idea. I intend to sleep in a little bit later than even normal. But anyway, for these next three lessons for this week, attendance is required, right? So while the lessons are not being graded, just like the past three weeks, this uh, week's lessons, you do need to make sure that you're logging in, right? So each one of the three lessons, make sure that in some way you respond to um, some of the prompts that are there or something like that, just to make sure that you're, you know, working with us um, and making sure that you're still here, making sure that your computer is working, your network is working, because if you're anything like the rest of us, there are all kinds of issues with that. Now, the other seven weeks, right, there are still seven more weeks of school. And again, assuming that we're not back at um, actual Mountain View, what's going to happen is for each of these weeks, just like this week, the 6th through the 9th, there'll be three lessons for each one of those weeks. For these three lessons, not only are you required to attend or do the lessons, you're also going to be graded on them. So for each one of these three weeks, there are going to be three lessons. And what we'll do is for each one of those three lessons, there's going to be a short quiz that you need to take. The quizzes should not be super difficult and definitely will not be very long, but you need to make sure you do them and you need to make sure all three lessons with the grades are completed by three o'clock at the end of the week if you want full credit for it. So you want to make sure you do that. When you do those three lessons is totally up to you. If you want, on Monday morning of the 13th, you could log right onto Schoology those three lessons will be there for the whole week. You could do all three science lessons early in the morning on April the 13th and take care of the whole thing for the whole week. Or if you choose, you can wait till Friday at two o'clock and try to do all the lessons right at the very end of the week and rush through them and everything. Either way, just remember, all of the grades are required to be in for each week by 3 p.m. on that Friday. So the same will be true for all the other weeks as you're going through. Um, as we're going through the different you know weeks and everything right there'll be three lessons each week it's up to you to record and record all your responses and get all your information in by the end of um the week you know at three o'clock my office hours i'll be available every day from one o'clock till two o'clock um this is not a required thing it's just that i'm there if you have any questions about either of the things that we're learning or about your grades or anything. It's not anything that you have to do. This is just if you have questions. Um, I will be there from one to two. I'll be trying to answer as many emails as I can. If I don't get to you right away, don't worry. It just means that I'm helping someone else first and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. But for the foreseeable future, just to keep this really simple, we're gonna um, just keep it with email right now. Now, the main thing I want to get to is Schoology. So if I flip on over to Schoology really quick here, here we go. Um, for Schoology, this is probably the main thing that I want to show you, right? Um, as far as Schoology goes, right? When you log on, it's gonna look just like it always has. When you click on this, the folder that's new is this one right here, the remote learning folder, right? This has all the things that you're gonna need for the rest of the school year. All the other things are actually stuff that's already been on Schoology for the whole year so far anyway. Uh, the first folder is just telling you my um, hours that I'm available to chat with you via email if you want. The second folder are just the first three weeks while we've been social distancing. These are um, there if you want to reference them or see them, but there's nothing that you need to do going forward. The next one though, this uh, folder um, is gonna be the first week. And what I'll do is I'm gonna add one folder every week for the rest of the school year. So there'll be this lesson right here, and then there'll be this one, and then there'll be six other folders. All right, so if we look at this first week as an example, here there are three lessons inside of it. You can either click this little arrow and see the three lessons, or if you just click on the actual folder, then it brings up the three lessons. I tried to keep each lesson as organized as I possibly could. So these are the three lessons that you need to complete for that first week, April 6th through the 9th. So if I click on one of these randomly just to see what's in there, first there is always going to be a short little introduction, kind of what you need to do for that lesson. Then for this particular one, it's all about vaccines, right? So um, first there's a sh very short, um, basically a slideshow that you can kind of 
cruise through and kind of see a couple things about how vaccines are made. There are two short videos talking about exciting things going on with this particular virus. And uh, in particular for this example, one of the um, places that are trying to solve the vaccine problem is, pit, um, well, is PIT right now. They think they have a vaccine and there's some exciting things going on with that. Then remember, for this first week, attendance is required. So you need to respond to one of one or more of the discussion questions. And look, I see how someone has already responded to this as of the time of making this video. If uh, we go back, all right, well, that, we can go back here. Okay, so that was the first week that we're in right now. Next week, there'll be another set of lessons, right? So this will be the lessons for the next week that we have. Now, remember, this week and all the other weeks going beyond this, it's going to be not only required that you do the lessons, but it's going to be graded. Now, clicking on this um, one, I still don't have the lessons made yet, so there's nothing in there. But I can tell you, it's going to be about Newton's three laws of motion. We're going to pick up exactly where we left off in class, and then we're going to go through and hit up all the major things that we would have been talking about in school anyway. So we'll hit up Newton's three laws. Um, first, so you want to make sure you're going to click on each one of those lessons on the weeks on the week from April 13th through the 17th, and we'll start off one lesson will be Newton's first law, second law, and then the third law for it, and there'll be a short quiz for each one of those. All right, and then as weeks go on, I'll put another folder in for each one of those weeks describing the lessons. All right, so let's get to the important things: a puppy update. From the litter that we are currently looking at picking from, right, we've got some new puppy pictures right here. So remember, there are six dogs, three girls and three boys currently. Here is one of them that's looking very cute, right? It's kind of a brownish, dark brownish color with white. Oh, here's a picture of all three girls right here. Now, the puppy that I in particularly have my eye on is this one right here. Um, it's a dark chocolatey brown dog, and it's got little white paws, which just look unbelievably cute to me. But um, some of the, some of the other people in my family like these too. Um, one of them, you know, in particular, one of my kids wants to get one of the black and white ones and name the dog Oreo. Uh, here is a picture of the three girl puppies, including the one that I like the best, with again the white little paws that it has on there. There is uh, this little guy right here that has affectionately been named Stripe, at least temporarily. Right. You can see clearly why by the big stripe going down his head. There is, oh, here's another boy. This one particularly looks like a cow to me, maybe a little bit too much. The puppies are two weeks old, so as you can see, their eyes are still shut, uh, but they should be opening up very soon um, here and everything, so they still can't see anything. Uh, now here's, uh, this is my son's favorite one. He has aptly named this one Pooper because it has a black tail. I don't think that's going to fly very well with Mrs. Jackson for very long. Here are a picture, uh, here are the girls again, including the one that I like with, again, the white little paws and everything kind of snuggled in there. Uh, here is one of the boys. Oh, I think this one actually is Pooper again. Oh, and here we go. And here's the picture of everyone together, right? So here they're all all kind of are snuggled together like little snuggle puppies. So which one to choose? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but they're all really cute looking. The biggest thing we're concerned with is which one is the nicest dog possible. All right. So you can uh, think of puppy dreams and everything like that as you get started on the lessons. And remember, keep yourself safe.